Today we're going to do a test on this repeater a customer sent in uh, to be checked over. It's uh, Harris uh, running two uh, TM8110 uh, transceivers and um, it's got a Comprod uh, 6614 uh, duplexer unit. Okay, uh, Our first test is going to be testing the receiver's uh, sensitivity. Our second test will be testing the transmitter's output the third test will be testing for descents on the uh, duplexer and um, the fourth test will be uh, using uh, a RF coupler uh, to test for uh, descents so uh, let's get on with it we're going to do the receiver first we're just going to check for receiver sensitivity we're going straight into the receiver bypassing the duplexer um, using the signal generator function on this IFR 1600 and um, so we're just going, I'll just show you uh, where the sens sensitivity is and our signal. So we're currently sitting at uh, negative 133, and this receiver should kick in at uh, negative 120. So it actually kicks in at negative 121, which is even better. So we know the receiver is working well. Let's move on to the transmitter. This is the coaxial cable leading straight to the back of the transmitter. And we're going to test the output of that transmitter's functions over here in the transmitter section of the IFR. And we're just looking we're just looking for the basic stuff. All right, so it's got 22 watts of output. Uh, we're off frequency by 150 cycles or so, and uh, it's got uh, good deviation. All right, that's looking good. 22 watts. So the transmitter is working fine. Now we're going to check for desensitization. This is done by injecting a signal from the FR, FR uh, 1600 injecting a signal into the receiver and simultaneously at the same time looking at the output from the transmitter when the transmitter comes on it may interfere with the receiver and that's what we call desensitization the job of the duplexer is to separate the transmitter from the receiver and limiting the amount of interference the transmitter can present to the receiver. The duplexer will present insertion loss to both the transmitter and the receiver. The insertion loss in this case on this duplexer is around the 1 dB mark. So we're going to find about 1 dB of transmission loss uh, in transmission power and about 1 dB of receiver uh, loss. So let's go over to our test set now and take a look at what our values are. We're hoping that the receiver will kick in at around 100, negative 120 dBm. And we're hoping, we're looking for about 17 or 18 watts of output uh, from the uh, transmitter based upon uh, 1 dB of loss. Well, let's turn our signal generator level up. So the receiver kicks in at negative 120 dBm and we show 17.1 watts of output from the transmitter which is absolutely what we're looking for. So that represents on the receiver side about 
1 dB of loss of insertion loss through the duplexer. Now, in this case, there is no desensitization. And if there were desensitization, the transmitter would key the receiver and, or sorry, this, the outside signal would key the receiver. And as the receiver keyed the transmitter, the transmitter would overload the receiver, thus um, shutting the signal input down altogether, um, called desensitization. And this would go in a loop on and off and on and off and on and off. Well, that's not happening. So we've got a great situation where there is zero descent. Um, we don't have to adjust our input gain or make any adjustments to the repeater the way it is right now. So it's working very well. In this test, we're going to use a coupler, or better known as an RF decoupler. And what this is, is it's a device that goes in line uh, from the RF output. Of course, the RF cable is coming down through here and coming down through the side of the Pelican case. So we're essentially connected on to the center pole of the duplexer right now. And it comes out here and inside this little box is a, um, is a coupler. Um, it's just a piece of, of metal that uh, basically connects the two inner pins together. And there we have a dummy load. This is a 50 watt, uh, 50 ohm dummy load. And off here is a loosely coupled uh, BNC connection that gives about 30 dB of attenuation um, or isolation attenuation, isolation, either one. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a signal into here and we're going to basically do the same thing as we did uh, with the IFR 1600 in the initial test and we're only going to use the uh, coupler um, to test it this time and um, all we're doing is inserting uh, signals so uh, we inserted uh, originally a negative 120 uh, dBm directly into the repeater uh, to key it up. In this case, because we've got a coupling device in line and we've got uh, neg, uh, we've got 30 dB of isolation, um, we're going to have to increase that value by 30 dB. So this repeater now should kick in at about uh, negative 90 and um, show the same results. Hopefully with uh, no desensitization. So there we are at uh, negative 120 and we're going to take it up to negative 90 or thereabouts there we are so it kicks in at uh, negative 91 which is uh, Neg uh, 121 dBm of sensitivity, so plus or minus 1 dB of uh, negative 120, and uh, we're still right on the mark of uh, where we were uh, initially. So that's it. Okay, that's it. That's how we test our repeater system. And just to recap, we tested the receiver first, the transmitter second. Then we did a desensitization uh, test on the duplexer using direct coupling uh, straight to the IFR 1600. And then our fourth test was using um, an external coupler, the Comprod uh, decoupler, and uh, running the uh, signal in to the coupler uh, using the 50 ohm dummy load uh, to take up the output of the uh, transmitter. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.